Today, I'm going to tell you a love story. A tale as old as time in a song that may not rhyme. No, I'm not going to torture you with my voice. <laughs> However, once upon a time, there was a beauty. Her name, Electricity. She fell in love with a beast. He was hidden deep underground for years. Coal, oil, petrol, gas, his name changed over the years. Their kiss of love lit up the world. And 200 years later, they were still in love. Now, no matter how I say it, this is not a fairy tale with a happy ending. We need to face the harsh reality. With increasing concerns over the limited availability of fossil fuels and man-made climate change, we need to, electricity especially, needs to move on to less toxic relationships. In Ireland, the wind just took her breath away as it's one of the fastest growing renewable energy sectors. In 2018, it contributed to about 16% of the total electricity generation, and this percentage is set to increase. However, one drawback with wind is that it's just too unpredictable and flaky. But to keep this relationship sustainable, going on for many years, we probably need to get in a counselor, or as an engineer would say, an electrolyzer. So when there is excessive wind, say at night, when the demand for electricity is not that high, instead of stopping the windmills, uh, we can let wind and electricity have their little romance in secret. Use any excessive electricity in the electrolyzer, which breaks down water into hydrogen and oxygen. This hydrogen can then be used to generate electricity when there is a lack of wind. Now, electrolyzers, they can be of different kinds based on their response times. Low temperature electrolyzers, because of their low response times, they uh, respond with their highest efficiencies even for small spells of electricity. While high temperature electrolyzers, because they take time to heat up, they do not respond very well to short spells of electricity, but when there is a continuous stream of electricity for a long period of time, then they reach their maximum efficiencies, which could be 85 to 90%. So the key so the key to stabilizing this relationship is choosing the right kind of electrolyzer for the right kind of scenario. In addition, we need effective government policies and subsidies in place to de deploy this technology into our future. So when you're heading back home today, I hope the wind just knocks your socks off with all the love it carries for our beauty, electricity, and our, uh, and our realistic future the greener future. Thank you. Thank you.